In this tutorial, we will learn how to create and import contour lines into CAD software using open source elevation data, QGIS, and Speckle. Free elevation data can be downloaded from different sources, for example, the viewfinder panoramas.org. Each square will have you a bunch of files downloaded in HDT format, which will be imported into QGIS as a raster file. There is a huge area covered by each file, and we are going to use processing toolbox to leave only the small area that we want to use for creating the contour lines. The instrument to do that is called clipping a raster by extent. In this case, we don't have any specific coordinates, so we're just going to use clipping by map canvas extent. Then to generate contour lines, all we need to do is to go to raster tab, extraction contours. Here we can choose the interval between generated contour lines and the attribute name where the elevation data of each contour line will be stored. To make them look a little bit more natural, we can use a smooth algorithm with several iterations and they will look much better. We also remember then when generating the contour lines, so we have set one of the attributes to store elevation data for each contour for each feature. And now we can use that attribute to set the C value of each contour line. So they are three dimensional. These values you can check by opening the attribute table of the layer with the generated contour lines. The next step will be create a new stream from your Speckle account, which we will call contours. Then we can go back to QGIS, making sure we have a Speckle plugin installed through plugins, manage and install plugins and put in the checkbox in the settings to include experimental plugin. Uh, under the streams, you will find a plus sign, which will let you search and add the speckle stream we have just created. You can select the stream to make it active. And uh, on the bottom, you can also select the layers that you want to send to the stream. Before sending, uh, you have to make sure that the project coordinate system is of the projected type and not geographic type. If you are in doubt, you can check that the, in, the, in the properties of your coordinate reference system that the units are set to meters. This is important because while opening in the CAD software, which is using metric system, you will have troubles to find the proper scale factor if you are importing the data in degrees. Right after sending, we have to receive a message that the operation was successful and the data was successfully sent to the stream, which we can directly check in the browser. We can see that all the data is here. It's three-dimensional, it's not flat. And now we can proceed with receiving the data in Rhino and Revit. By the way, if you don't have Rhino connector installed, you can do so from Speckle Manager, go into connectors, and install Rhino connector from there. Now you can open Speckle plugin from the panel, same blue brick as in QGIS. Uh, you can select the stream from the list of the streams connected to your account and choose Receive tab on the bottom and click Receive. The imported contour lines will be located quite far away from the origin point because their location is corresponding to their position on the world map. So to find them on a canvas in Rhino, we can use zoom, zoom extends. If we are working with already existing drawings or building plans in Rhino, we might need to synchronize the locations of the contour lines and our existing drawing. And to do that, we're gonna choose the point which will serve as a reference point to translate the contour lines into the local coordinate system of the chosen software. We can do it using Speckle QGIS connector uh, with, using the function create custom CRS. Here you have to input the geographic coordinates of the point which is supposed to be the center of your project. And um, once you clicked it, you can check if the CRS was created correctly by checking the coordinates on the bottom uh, panel and trying to find where is your zero, zero point located and whether it's located correctly. 
we're gonna do now is we're gonna send the translated geometry to Speckle again and receive it in Revit. We have to move the geometry before sending to Revit because Revit has limitations of receiving uh, geometry beyond um, approximately four kilometers from the origin point. So the geometry from QGIS at its original location could not be received in Revit. You can install Speckle plugin for Revit from Speckle Desktop Manager, the same as for Rhino. And the interface would look very similar. You can find the tab called Speckle and open Revit connector. There you will see the list of streams. You choose the, the contour stream and click Receive. There might be some Revit specific errors that do not make difference in the current situation for the current geometry, so we're going to ignore them. And this is the result we have received from the open source elevation data, which you can repeat with other types of elevation data in a grid format, which will be imported as raster to QJS such as .tiff, .hdt, .asc, and so on. Or you can use already vectorized data, which will be even faster.